try as much as possible to keep up with the trends of design or the industry that you're in. One of the coolest trends right now is negative spaces. When you use white spaces on your logo design, it makes the design not to be complicated and it grabs attention. These are the examples of white spaces that um, helped us with the creativity of this real estate design. We're going to jump in on Canva and we're going to create a blank canvas in order to create this design. So you're gonna go to your elements and you're gonna go to your shapes and lines and you click where it says see all and you scroll down until you find that house shape. And you rotate it, you size it and you change color to whatever color that you want. I went with blue earlier on so I'm gonna stick to blue once that's done you're going to add your text you press T for text and you create your letter that you want to be on your logo design you change color you make it white and you add more text for the company name as well as the company slogan and that's your design you're going to go to your downloads and you're going to download this as a transparent background and you're going to create a blank page because if you want this j to have a, an empty j when you get to photo p you need to have a, an extra page and remove this J's inside, or the whiteness of the J. So you're gonna drag your J to your second page and you're going to size it. And you're going to go to your edit image and use your remove background tool. If you don't have remove background on your Canva free, then use remove.bg or you can try it for 30 days using the link below. You're gonna click on apply and then you are good to go. You're gonna go share and you're gonna go download and you're gonna download it as a transparent background. We want page number two, we click on down and we download. We're going to jump to photo P and convert the logo to a 3D logo. Once on Photo P, we're going to be using a mock-up that we've downloaded from freepeak.com by Riandra22. You're going to open from computer, double-click your PSD file, note PSD file, not JPEG. And once it has loaded, gorgeous looking mock-up that you could use. I'll put the link on the description below. You double-click where it says double-click here and then you hide the example that the designer has loaded for us you click and you drag your 2d logo that you've created from canva you size it quite nicely like this until it's nicely aligned you go file save a smart object save a smart object won't be available if there is no object to be saved as so if you can't find it you've missed a step wait for the system to convert to smart object. By the way, if you're getting value out of the video, please don't forget to smash the like button so that YouTube can send more people that we can teach and empower. Um, then we click on wait. You click where it says logo mockup once and you wait. And there's your logo mockup done. So the mockup size is huge. In order for you to download it, I would uh, suggest that you reduce the size so that it doesn't pixelate so much. You see, the width is 300,000. Make it small, make it something like 700 or 600 even so that it's small and it doesn't pixelate so much. And then you click on save to export it. May I ask that you head over to learnwithzar.com 
and when you get there go to courses and go and register pre-register for me and let me know that you want to know when the course comes live yes it's going to be a paid course but i will be holding your hand all the way with canva photo p and i cannot wait for me to roll this out and be part of the community with you i will see you on the next video Thank you.